Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Kai, checking out with another video. And today, we got my boy. We got my boy, Kevin Samuels, back on the channel. Rest up to the GOAT. You feel me? As y'all see from the title that's on the screen, men should treat women bad. Let's see what bro talking about, man. This guy, he's 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 definitely an entertainer. You know, my first crush. You know, that's another story for another time. But the first time I really liked the chick, I'm just call her. I'm just call her Car. I like this chick, and like most simp's, when I like the chick, I did the simp stuff. You know, I immediately start paying a lot of attention to her, telling her all the stuff I like, fawning after, running behind her, young boy stuff. I was in like the sixth, seventh grade. Long and short of it, every chick that I ever liked, I automatically start simping for. Now, here's the thing. I have girls that liked me, but, you know, I, I could, you know, man up for them because I wasn't interested. But as soon as my feelings started getting involved, it was almost like I became a woman. So let me fast forward. What happened with Carr? Carr ended up, I started, she was my girlfriend. Check the box and you'd be like, yes and no. We're like in eighth grade by this time. And like most simps, she got tired of me like that. So she broke up, broke my little heart, shattered me, destroyed me. No men around, didn't know what to do. <clears throat> no one really talked to. Somebody talked about the stuff in the, in the 80s. Luckily, testosterone kicked in. I mean, but bro, you talking about from a child perspective though, it was the first time you probably really liked the girl or liked the girl in general. And you're like, hey, this gonna be the one. But you're not understanding that, hey, you're a kid, though. Like, we all been through it, though. I'm not I'm not saying he's right or wrong, but I'm saying you're not understanding that you're a kid. You're not going to get married no time. Like, you you can't get married no time soon. Y'all don't really control what's going to transpire throughout y'all existence. She might move away. You might move away. Y'all might not ever see each other for a long time until y'all become an adult. You feel me? Like, a lot of things happen. Y'all both going to be dealing with finding new people. Every grade y'all going to, you know, new classroom. You're around a bunch of new people. She around a bunch of new people. It's kind of hard that the person that you met in 6th, 7th, 8th grade is going to be the... They tell you, they even tell you this when you go to high school, bro. I remember in high school, like, you know, for me, high school was ninth grade. I remember going into high school, we had a lecture where uh, somebody came and they spoke to, you know, all the freshmen or whatever. And they was really saying, like, this. they were saying this based upon, like, you know, the kids. Because, you know, for me, my school, I went to the same school with the same kids from elementary to middle school to high school. Like, we all went to the same schools. The same people. Like, some of the same people, yeah, it was a bunch of new people, but some of the same people, we, and I'm talking about over 100 motherfuckers, some of the same people from elementary all the way to high school. We all was, so I'm like, so, so, so what I mean by that is like, what I mean by that is like, I remember in the ninth grade, we had a, a, a we had a lecture come on. Come on, yo. See, I'm talking this shit. Um, yeah, we had a lecture. Hey, dog. I'm not cutting this out. But come on, go about your business, bro. All right, cool. I can talk. All right, cool. So we had a lecture. And in that lecture, they were saying, the people that you start with in ninth grade, you're not going to be with them during 12th. Like, that's a fact. And especially at the high school. At the high school, them friends that you had in ninth grade, it's over with. Y'all gonna be a, you, if you want you dedicated to, you know, your academics, you in college. Your friends might have been dro dropouts. Your friends might have been dropouts, your friends might have been uh you know, just working like just getting a job, like saying forget college, I'm just gonna get a job. Y'all might not go to the same college. They might go to a different college. So them friends, y'all all growing and y'all all doing your own same. Y'all all doing different things now. And it's like y'all all not connected anymore. 
And that's what I'm saying here. Like, yeah, y'all might have been together for sixth grade, but seventh grade, y'all might not be feeling that no more. And then this same this chick I was calling left and right. This is back when you call people and, and you know you get a busy signal. You you know the stuff we used to have to do on the phones. You get the busy signal call back. You, there was no caller ID. You know, man, it was crazy. So anyway, after my testosterone kicked in, I got pissed off at this chick. I was like, I got to a point to where I got over her. Well, I ran into her the next year in 10th grade. She remembered the simp version of me. I grew nine inches over the summer. So I went from being five feet tall, roughly in eighth grade, to five, nine in three months. Three inches, nine inches over the summer. Incredible. So all of a sudden, I'm Big Willie. So all of a sudden, these chicks that I, that chick that I used to like, who I simped out for, all of a sudden, she was throwing herself at me. But I didn't care no more. So she called me and I wouldn't answer the phone or I'd talk to her and I'd just blow her off. I learned something right here. This is almost like a laboratory experiment because I'm a technically, I'm a strategic minded person, technical minded person. I start putting this stuff through scientific process. If nice got me bad behavior, bad seemed to get me good behavior. So I started being more bad. Here's what I heard learned. You heard the you. worse I treated women, the more they liked me. Now let me make the caveat. No, nah, that's, that, that's damn near true. Hey, nah, that's damn near true. Nah, he's he talking facts. It was called worse. What it really was is I was treating women like a man treats a woman. That's what I was doing. I wasn't being a simp. I was standing up. I was saying what I wanted. was not making any qualifying statements. You know, not beating around the bush. If it was my way or the highway, you lucky to be around me. This is what I want out of the world. She became everything. Nah, bro, that's not, I don't think that's, I don't, that's not fair. I don't think that's right either. Like, you can't just, you can't treat people like shit, though. Like, I think how, what he's saying, like, you basically treat motherfuckers like shit. You can't do that, bro. That's not right. All right, cool. You got your little feelings hurt. You ain't had nobody telling you, hey, you don't treat people like that? I understand your feelings hurt, but you don't treat people like that. Thing I ever wanted her to be in a girlfriend after I started being a jerk to her. A cocky, intelligent, and arrogant. That's what I was told. It was cocky, intelligent, arrogant. So I got these battling things going on inside me. So here's what ends up happening. You know, we go on a band trip. I smash. I, I still don't want to deal with her. I mean, I smash her, you know, and I'm like, okay, well, I put this chick up on the pedestal, right? And she didn't want to have nothing to do with me. When I start treating her bad, like I was told was bad, put a caveat there. All of a sudden, she wanted to get with me. I smashed. After I smashed, guess what? She smashed the dude I was, I was rooming with. So I saw right there full force, female nature. I'm like, I put you up on a pedestal, treated you like a queen and a goddess or whatever, whatever. Here's how you treated me. I treat you like a badly. You falling all over me, telling me everything I want, let me smash. Then you let this dude smash. Right then I learned I, what I was taught was wrong. Women do not want nice guys. What we've been taught is nice. Women want strong, secure, assertive men who know what they want. We have been told all our lives that this stuff is bad and it's not. And you see even our young boys in school on Ritalin and all these other kind of drugs to really tamp down male behavior. I'm talking to the guys who want to learn how to get the women you want. First thing you need to do is understand most, not most, everything you've ever been taught is wrong. Women like jerks, what they're called jerks. Women like that kind of behavior. If you were born after 1970, that is hard to accept because we were raised in a generation of equal rights, but you got to learn it. But at least for me and a lot of other guys, we got a chance to do some infield experiments on this stuff. So when I went to high school, when I went to college, I just let it all hang out. You know, I had a girlfriend in high school who I turned around and simped for. So you was either simping or pimping. It was either one or the other.
But a lot of this stuff men have been told was wrong. Nice guys finish last. I've been a nice guy every time. That's I'm, very true though. Nice guys do finish last, but I kind of I kind of look at it too, like bro, nice guys finish last, but that still don't give you no right to treat people how they treated you. Like if you wasn't raised like that, like you wasn't raised to be no the jerks is the ones that finish last. If you ask me, the jerks is the ones that, like as an adult, man, them niggas still some shit. Like the most popular women in high school that I knew, man, I'm man, I'm I'm telling you, the most popular woman in high school, right? That I knew in high school, bro, man, them females are some shit right now. Facts. The most popular woman in high school that I knew is some shit right now. You know who winning? The ones that was considered the nerds, the geeks, the dweebs, the quiet ones. They the ones that's winning right now. The ones that had the freckles and the acne and all that shit. Man, once they got that shit taken care of, man, the woman is top tier. And they bringing something to a table. Them the ones that's winning right now. All the bad women that I know in high school, bro. That's just me, though. I'm only speaking from my perspective. The, only, the bad women in high school, the popular women, the ones that were super popular in the ink crowd, the cheerleaders, and the ones that used to be, man, it was pressure. Pressure. Some shit right now. I'm speaking about me when I was in high school, man. When I was in high school, bro, I ain't really had that much. I mean, I had bread, but I told y'all before, I was a, I was damn near like a geek. Like, I just want to play video games. Like, but I wasn't a geek though. Like, when I was in high school, I went to my neighborhood school. Like, I'm in DC, so I be able to walk. We don't we don't take buses to school, so I'm able to walk to school. Like, I'm walking to school with my hood, my neighborhood, or whatever. I'm in this joint with my neighborhood. Like, my neighborhood, we, we Gucci in this thing. Like, I know everybody. I told you. I told you earlier. Like, we all, I know everybody. Like, we all been knowing each other. So, I'm Gucci. I just want to, like, super fly. Like, you know, I want to super fly. So, I want I had money, but I want to spend my money on dumb shit. Like, oh, yeah, let me buy some clothes and shit like that. That wasn't until, like, later. But, yeah, I was overlooked a lot. But I still treated everybody with the utmost respect because I don't know how to be ill. Like, I don't know how to come out with an ill intent. Like, I don't have ill intent. I don't know how to be uh, disrespectful to people or, or talk about people. Or anything. I don't know how to do none of that shit, bro. I wasn't raised like that, so I'm not going to be acting according to that. Like, you do me bad, I'm going to do you bad. Like, no, no, no. I'm just going to say, cool. But now, when females see me now, after I glue up, man, I glue up, bruh. Get started getting some tats. Bruh, them females that, that, that used to diss me in high school, like, overlook me. They ain't never diss me or talk down or something, but they overlook me. Like, when I say, yeah, I think you're beautiful, woo, woo. The females wouldn't give me the time of day. I remember, woo, man, I remember. It's a spot in D.C. called Adams Morgan, bruh. I, this was a spot called, in D.C. called Adams Morgan. It was a girl who I had the biggest crush on in high school, bro. I had the biggest crush on in high school. Well, one of the, she was one of the girls, but it was, a, it was like, she was one of the girls, man. Didn't give me no time of day, bro. When I started getting, man, when I, Blasted when I started getting blasted, blasted me like covered in ink. Like, man, I was sickly with it, man. So, you tried to Adams Morgan. Ooh, ooh, man, I ain't get this girl no time of day. Overlooked you, man. I don't even see you, bro. She, oh man, you looking good, woo, woo. and she still look good to this day. But I overlooked you because I remember, man, when I wanted you, bro, you, man, you dogged me, bro. You, I want nothing to you, bro. I want popular. That's what it was because the nigga want popular. But when the nigga start getting tatted, man, 
I'm telling you. I'm telling you. She like, man, this nigga the bad boy type. Man. And that's the thing, all them all them popular niggas in high school ain't shit either. Like, no cap. Them niggas ain't shit either. Like them niggas, I be seeing these niggas, bro. I'm like, dog, like y'all, y'all was the man at Will 50 say, damn, homie, you was the man in high school. What happened to you? It's a fact. You was the man. You was that nigga. That shit don't equate to nothing. And I be telling us why I be trying to tell people, bro. At the high school, bro, that shit don't equate to nothing, bro. I don't give a fuck how tough high school is or anything like that. At the high school, bro, that shit don't matter, bro. Niggas be the most popular niggas. Niggas be carrying them stories with them. Like, man, in high school, I was the whoa, whoa, whoa. I was the runner back. I was the I was the quarterback. I was the I was the star basketball player. I was the star woo woo. Man, after high school, none of that shit matters, bro. I be looking at you niggas. I be la- I be damn it laughing in my head. Like, man, y'all niggas is not them niggas no more. Y'all females is not them females no more, man. I was a nice guy. I finished beyond last. I never even finished when I was just a guy who just said, forget it. I'm going to just be this. I'm going to just be a jerk, a cocky, intelligent, arrogant, the most success I've ever had with women. And that has been consistent teenage to now. So how do you do it? First off, you got to understand something. You got to undo your program. You got to undo your programming, guys, because we've been programmed to think or hold the door open for women. Be chivalrous. Women don't want all that. Bruh. Bruh. He has a point. Nah, he has a point. He talking that talk. But, bro, don't just don't just treat people bad, bruh. Like, if somebody ain't never do nothing to you, if it's a random woman, hold that door, bruh. Like, Y'all be y'all be carrying this energy to people that, that don't don't even know you. Never did nothing wrong to you. You be carrying this energy like I be seeing women, but I be seeing certain women thinking every nigga want to talk to them. Like you will compliment them on one thing, she felt like oh man, like ooh, I'm like girl, nobody wants you. The fuck, I'm giving you a compliment. Like I like your hair. I like woo woo. You think a nigga want to talk to you because I gave you a compliment? Like, who the fuck is you? Like, I'm just complimenting you, bro. I like your little swag. Like, I like your little swag. Like, I'm not trying to talk to you, bro. I never say nothing else. I would, I would say that one thing and not say nothing else. Even if you wanted me to. No, I was going to say, like, I fuck with your little swag. Like, man, stop letting shit get to your head, bro. I understand that niggas talk to you all day and shit like that. But, man, I don't give a fuck about you fuck is you like you a micro dot in my life but that don't mean i'm gonna treat you bad because you said some bullshit you feel me like don't treat people like don't do that bro number two you can't take advice from married people married people are living a completely different life who, who taking advice i don't from mean people? that they're bad they just they're living a completely different life Single people and married people have different motivations and different everything else. A married man is going to tell you different things because he has a wife. Women are the same. <laughs> Women are the same. Even listening to it, some guys are thinking, man, that sounds harsh or rude or sexist. That's what we've been programmed. That's what we've been taught. We've been told that a man being a man, being assertive, saying, you know, approaching a woman, being straight up direct is a, is a callous, arrogant thing to do. Well, guess what? I got more women that way than trying to be their friend anything else. When I would just walk up to a chick and say, look, uh, I'm trying to go home with you tonight. What's up? After they get over the initial shock that somebody said that to them, you know what ended up happening? No, you, 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 and that's, you gotta be direct. Like if you, if you going into something like, and you know, like, Hey, I don't want nothing out of this. I don't want no relationship out of this. You, you should be direct. Like, there's nothing wrong with being direct. Hey, I don't, want no, I don't want no relationship with you. I'm just trying to hit. It ain't nothing wrong with being blunt and direct. But I'm saying it in the, in the, in the matter of, hey, understand that if this woman tell you no, don't go off and say, all right, fuck you then, bitch. 
Like, that was uncalled for. You shot your shot at her. She she said, nah, I'm not with it. Like, some guys just don't know how to take rejection. Some people don't know how to take rejection. I went home with him that night. Guess what? I didn't take her number. I gave her mine. Because I ain't going to call you and chase you. All this stuff is probably counter to your programming. They called you. They want you. Guys, we have to... I don't even... When I'm out in public, bro, I don't even be going smack at females, bro. Like, I don't, bro. I can't tell y'all the last time, like, I went smack at a female. If y'all don't know what going smack is, going smack is basically, like, talking to a female. Like, walking a tour, like, exchanging numbers or trying trying to exchange numbers or anything, bro. I can't tell you the last time I did that, bro. I don't be on that, bro. Like, I'm not worried about... Like, it's some niggas that be on everything moving. Like, niggas really be on... Oh, man, she bad. Let me go talk to her. Let me go talk to her. Let me, like, bro, like, when you become an adult, bro, that shit, like, that's cool as a kid. As a kid, that shit was cool. But when you become an adult, like, bro, and you know, like, not even just you know your worth, but you know what you're trying to do out of life. Like, you know what you, like, my next step in life is to get married, bro. Like, I don't have time to be, oh, let me talk to her. Let me talk to her. Let me get on social media, Instagram, slide. But I don't even slide in DMs no more, bro. Well, I ain't slide in DMs. I'm saying I ain't do that shit in forever, like, forever, like, bro. I'm talking about forever, like, years, bro. I don't be on none of that shit, bro. I be in my own little bubble, like, straight up. And females be always, be, females always think a nigga got the bitches. Like, a nigga be fly, nigga be fresh, like, nigga be putting that shit on. Nigga tatted, nigga got, you know, goals, aspirations, nigga making things happen. Females always be looking at me like, oh, you got the bitches. Oh, I know you got the bitches. Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, nah, bro. Like, my phone be dry. My, my two phones be dry. I like that, though. Like, I like my phone being dry. I don't want to... You know, like, bro, I kind of figured out, like, even even when I was a kid, bro, and I was talking to, like, multiple women, bro, that shit is super taxing, man. That shit is super complicated. Like, you got to remember key details. Like I told you, I don't smoke or drink. So I be remembering key details w about women. Like, women tell me about their past. Or women tell me, you know, color, like, favorite color, favorite food, favorite anything. Like, you got to remember all this shit, bro. Like, you got to remember all this shit, bro. And it's taxing because you got to spend money. Like, take this girl out on a date today. Today might be Monday. Wednesday, you might got to take the other girl out on... Man, who the fuck got time to do all that shit, bro? Man, so that's why now I'm just like, bro, I did it already, bro. That shit... It, it does nothing for me. It did nothing for me. Like, man, I just be cool, bro. Sit back and learn to reassert our manhood. And this is not a bad thing. This is actually a good thing. Let me just get to the personal aspects of it. When guys are acting like men, my grades are better, I was performing better at work, my relationships are better, testosterone was up because what does got even this? Your, your sense of manhood is fulfilled. When we are the nice guy, simpish acting, weak beta males, no man feels good being that way. That's why I say you can't listen to married men because a lot of married men are beta me are, are been beta male. They don't want to hear it, but if you live by the term happy wife, happy life, like I did, I was a beta male in a marriage because that's what I was told and taught to be. I mean, at the end of the and day, guess, if you marry, what the fuck? Like, if you marry... It shouldn't be no beta. It shouldn't be no alpha or beta. Like, you the man, she should follow your lead, of course, but sometimes let her lead. Like, sometimes she's going, she's going to have to lead. You might lose your job, and she still might have her job. She has to lead now until you get back on your feet. Like, bruh, what the fuck? Be up with these niggas, bro. We not living in the motherfucking sixties no more, bro. That's a sixties mentality. Man, I'm the. I just need to be the leader. I just need to woo woo. woo. Female follow my lead. Like nah, sometimes hey, 
my way might not always be the right way. Let me hear let me hear your opinion about something. Let me hear your opinion about this. My way might not be the right way, so let me hear your opinion. Let me hear let me hear what you gotta bring to the table. Especially if you married. But you got some women that's super submissive, which ain't a bad thing. But I hear, I hear all the time, like from women that's submissive. They, they the ones that take that. They the ones that carry the most, the most problems in their relationships, because they feel like their voice isn't heard. Y'all allowed this man to be the alpha so much that you feel like your voice is so small. You gave this man so much power that now you feel like he don't even pay attention to you. He's not even listening to you. It's his way, and you got to follow his lead. But now you feel like, damn, I'm am I, am I a dog? Am I an animal? Like, what about my voice? And that's why y'all be getting them divorces because a woman felt like, damn, like, I don't have a voice in this shit. That's a fact. I hear that shit so much, like, I hear that shit so much. That's why I'm saying, like, bro, it's just merges, like, merges. And even relationships, like, bro, you can't just, y'all gotta, it gotta be even, bro. All right, cool, I'm the man, you a woman, though. And you have a brain, too. Like, you have a brain, you got something to offer. I'm not gonna act like you don't have nothing to offer. You got something to offer, too. Your opinion matters just as much as my opinion. I don't think they got nothing to do with Alpha and Beta. Guess what? I ended up getting divorced because we had a 75 percent of divorces are filed by women. We've already went down the stats. I mean, you got a divorce because she probably felt like, hey, you want to be this tough ass nigga and you're not listening to me. Like you want to be this hard ass nigga to feel like, hey, I'm a female. I just need to follow your lead. And let you be the alpha, but damn, like, if I tell you, hey, the quickest way is this way, and you like, no, the quickest way is this way, but you, but we, but I know this way right here, because I took this way as long as shit, and this way right here might be, I know for a fact it's easy, because this is the shortcut that I had to take to avoid this long ass way, and I'm telling you, hey, let's go, go this way right here, bro, go this way right here. Nah, we going this way. The GPS say go this way. Man, after, after a while, a female gonna say, bro, I'm not about to keep dealing with this goofy ass nigga who not listening to me, bro. My voice isn't heard. Women don't want these things. Bottom line is this, guys. Women want guys who are confident. Women want guys who are self-assured. Borderline, women want guys borderline arrogant. I, I'm saying borderline, but they really do. They want arrogance. Here's what ends up happening. When a guy goes like that and self-actualizes, society does what it's going to do to basically get you back to say, oh, don't, don't do that. Go back to being the nice guy. Because nice guys, they can control. Nice guys, you know, we can go ahead and get you to get married and have a white picket fence and, and producing all the resources and all the other kind of stuff. And, you know, that's a, that's a whole thing for another time. So um, I get guys all the time asking me how to be more self-assured. A lot of the questions come down to guys really not being sure of themselves. A lot of men just aren't sure of themselves because most of us have had the male ego beat out of us or educated out of us or tamped down to where we question ourselves and doubt ourselves to where if you like a woman, or a young lady, you're made to feel intimidated or for some reason unsure. Like, I'm going to a dance, what should I do? Or what should I say? How do I get them to like me? Uh, the odds are in your favor, even as a young guy. You know, a woman is at her peak of hotness when she's in her teens. A teen, a woman peaks at 25. So they got from 14 to 25. And for 14 to 25, we're at the inverse. So it's an inversely proportional relationship. But when I started walking around thinking and believing that I was the man, that you were lucky that I'm spending time with you, you lucky that I chose you to even talk to, I have more women than I could, than I knew what to do with. 
Some see, guys. And, and that's the thing. See, and that's the thing, like. Because I used to feel like that, too. So I definitely get what he's saying. I used to feel like that, too. Like, hey, I got to be this macho man. I got to be this super, like, aggressive. And that's not me, bro. And that's not a lot of people. You you get respected more for just being yourself. Find, find women that fuck with you for you. Like, find women that's into what you're into. Like, for me personally, like, if I'm a kid, if I'm a kid, I'm gonna find women that's into fashion. Like I'm in a fashion. I'm fucking with women that's fashionable. I'm fucking with women that, that be putting that shit on that that I like. You know what I mean? That I like. Oh man, I see her in some sneakers, man. Ooh, she coming this bitch with some sneakers on all day, every day. I'm on that, man. I like that. That's my style. You feel me? Like you gotta start attracting what's attracting to you, like. This right here, this right here is just on some like, hey, I just want to take everything down. That's for your ego. Fuck that ego. The ego don't mean nothing. Because at the end of the day, you got to realize, bro, when you get a certain age, bro, all this, your ego shit don't matter. When you start, like, when you become an adult, you live by yourself, you do everything like you, you just live by yourself and you just fucking random girls and all that shit. When you gonna settle down? You doing all this shit that you got going on, you slaying everything moving. When you gonna settle down? Like you, you don't wanna, your goal and dream is to never have a family. Like you don't wanna have a family. What if what if you got to go to what if you in the hospital? You don't want nobody by your side. Like you don't never think that damn I need to have somebody by my side. The females that you fucking they gonna be by your side because they, they don't owe you anything. You feel me? They don't owe you nothing. So it's like, nah, bro. I'm telling y'all that like, don't let. Hey, I'm just trying to use my ego and slay anything moving. Get around women that. You deem is, you know, y'all got y'all got some type of connection. Like y'all gotta have something. It can't just be oh we just fucking each other. That shit is that shit don't last. You may think that's not anything to strive for. It's not so much as something to strive for. It's something as a guy you need to know about yourself. I've said it before, manhood is under general assault. It's under general assault. Men acting like men, men doing men's things are, is really frowned upon. Uh, so if you're a young guy, if, you, if you're a young guy, if you're not married, if you're a young guy in your teens, if you're in your early 20s, especially if you're not, if you've never been married, understand something, you are the prize. You are the prize, especially right now. Yeah, if you got some. If you're in a relationship, and unless you can 100% say you are the man in that relationship, and your girlfriend, wife, significant other, whatever, is really supporting you, it's hard to feel completely like a man should feel. The issue is most guys have never felt that. So we don't even understand it. You know, when you hear guys saying some of the things I say just right now, it pro some guys is going to scratch like a raw nerve, like, oh, that's chauvinist. That's old school. That, you know, that sounds like a caveman. There's a reason there's so many pickup artists and all these other kind of stuff. And, and I'm not trying to teach you any pickup artist tricks. You notice I haven't used one technique or anything like that. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying that simply this. Women like men who are confident, intelligent, assertive, know what they want, not afraid to go get it. Tell a woman what you want up front. Nah, facts. He not lying about that. He ain't lying. 